Princess Anne was always going to be a rock star when it came to filling up the empty roster for the waning royal family, but her devotion to duty may come at a price. Last week, a new report came out that the Princess Royal is now covering a third of all royal events. She's also picking up extra work to help support King Charles and the Princess of Wales as they undergo treatment for their respective cancer diagnosis. If that wasn't enough, Anne is also covering for Prince William who has scaled back his duties to take care of the couple's three children. According to the royal roster, Anne is one of three royals who has stepped up their public engagements this year, with the Duke of Kent, 88, and the Duke of Gloucester, 79, also increasing their workload. But it is diligent Anne who carried out an incredible 172 royal engagements between January and April. And in recent months, she has traveled to Greece to attend the funeral of King Constantine of Greece, taken a royal tour in Sri Lanka and spent time in Dubai in her role as president of the mission to seafarers. Anne, 73, is famed for being the hardest working royal, and has never failed in her duties. But friends say that even by her standards, this is too much. And her daughter Zara is rightly feeling concerned that her mum is doing far too much. An insider says, Zara is genuinely worried about her mum's current workload, which is completely over the top. She's seriously concerned she's going to burn out or drive herself to an early grave working this hard. Even her doctors agree that she's taking on too much for her age, especially while she's still grieving for her mother. So much has happened since the Queen died, but it still was only 18 months ago. Zari's fears she's thrown herself into work as a way of processing her grief, but with everyone coming down with serious illnesses, she's right to be worried this may not end well. Sources confirm the 43-year-old mom of two and hubby Mike Tyndall, 45, have put on hold their plans to relocate to Australia to support the family going through a real crisis, and so Zara can keep an eye on her mom. Last week, Anne hosted the annual Not Forgotten Garden Party for injured veterans at Buckingham Palace. Wearing a AUD $30,000 brooch her mother gave her on her wedding day, Anne was all smiles as she effortlessly greeted guests. Anne makes it look so easy, adds the insider. She's a total pro, but she's also as stubborn as her big brother and her late mum when it comes to her health and putting duty above all. Only Zara knows about all her aches and pains, which is why she will often get upset if she feels her mum's goodwill and dedication is being taken advantage of. It's why they put off their plans to relocate the kids to Australia. Zara and Mike want to be around to support her and the king. They haven't completely given up on Oz, but for now they're needed in the UK. Anne's not the only one happy about this decision, Charles is relieved too.
Rumors that the king has been courting Mike and Zara to formally join the royal ranks continue as friends say the couple have almost accepted it as inevitable. If Zara is genuinely worried about her mother's shocking workload, and she should be, the ideal solution is to pick up some of the slack herself, adds the insider. Zara and Mike know them joining the roster is inevitable. Even if the Princess of Wales fully recovers, it's still a very meager and aging lineup. For now, Zara's focus is on getting her mum through these next few busy months. But it's only a matter of time before she and Mike fold and take up one of Charles's very enticing entitled offers. Quote, 